Hey, 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 everybody. Thanks, as always, for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. We're going to check out uh, some uh, live gameplay here. So, At Games sent me yesterday, they sent me the new um, Natural History games. And what we're going to do here is we're going to check these games out, uh, play each game for a few minutes, and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, so, hopefully... And what we're going to do here is we're going to play these on the Legends Core Max. That way you guys get a pretty decent view of what these tables uh, look like. Uh, so, uh, for instance here, we got these are the four new tables. I only got to test these out for a couple of minutes. Let's take a look at, um, you know, let's take a look at Dinosaur Dynasty, right? So let's take a look at the X ranking. What's up, Vaisal? So you notice uh, a lot of people who've had uh, day one early access to these tables, everyone else has access to borrow. You'll notice that on the leaderboards, leaderboards are live. Wow, we got some high scores here. Got some really high scores already. You'll notice I don't even have a score recorded yet. Uh, but what I like about the Legends Core Max, uh, especially for streaming purposes, is the fact that we'll have Natural this more, history. you know, Dinosaur it's not going to be Dynasty. the full pinball table view. It's going to be like what you're used to seeing when you play on you know, pinball on a handheld device or on your PC or all that kinds of stuff. What's up, Zohar? What's up, uh, Digipunk? Jason? All that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and get going here. So once we, uh, once we kick the ball out, what'll be nice is it'll kind of zoom in. And you guys will get a really good view of the table and all that kinds of stuff. So, and I'm playing on my Legends Core Max here with the, oh geez, what is this called? The... I'm using my Legends Gamer Pro with my Legends Gamer Pro pinball buttons. Now, isn't this funny? Take a look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This pterodactyl just grabbed my ball, and he's flying the ball all the way up to the volcano. That was pretty badass. <laughs> that was pretty cool, I'll be honest. Uh, when, I, when I tested the game for like 30 seconds earlier, I did not see that before, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, man, that's great. All right, let's do this. Let's, uh... Here, let's try this. I want to make sure you guys get a good view of this. Let's see what happens if we do this. Alright, now I might disappear here for a second, but hang on. Alright, and... There we go, now you guys get a pretty good view of the table now, right? Right? Uh, no, I figured we would try on the Legends Core Max, that way you guys get a really good view of this table right here, so you guys can see what these are all about. So you make up, can make up your minds as to whether or not you wanna, you know, buy these tables. I mean, they're on sale, 15 bucks. I mean, a pretty good deal for the weekend to get yourself four new pinball games. And that was pretty cool with the, I don't know if you guys just joined, but with the with the pterodactyl that just took my pinball and flew it all the way up to the volcano. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, but as you can see here, these tables, if you look at the designs overall, I mean, I gotta say guys, this is a huge, huge improvement versus the Taito games that Magic Pixel and, um, and uh, At Games worked on previously together. Look at that pterodactyl flying around the screen. All the little interactive elements, dinosaurs moving, smoke effects, all that stuff. Sorry, I was... I gotta look at this screen because this screen is delayed. <laughs> Oops. What's up, Jay? What's up, Tucker? It's been a long time since my balls were carried like that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So, it's a little awkward uh, playing hot with my... So, I'm using my Legends... Again, I'm using my Legends Gamer Mini... Uh, and then I'm using the pinball buttons on the sides of my oh my Legends Gamer Mini, and I haven't done this in a little bit, so it's a, it's a little weird feeling if you've been just playing on your pinball machine. So forgive me for the horrible gameplay as we go. I'm gonna do one more thing here, guys. I'm gonna do one more thing. Let's do... Where's my chat window? I wanna adjust that down so you guys can see the DMD without people having uh, words on the DMD. So just one second. We'll find it here. Where is it? 
browser. Here we go. So let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to do alt like this. Oh, there you go. Boom. In the right orbit. Stay on target. I like the volcano. And what's really nice is on the Legends Core Max, these are in, you know, 1080p, 60 frames per in second, the so uh, they look pretty good. They look in pretty the good. Can you guys hear the game audio okay? Let me know in the live chat. The center hole. Get the right ramp. Mission complete. 30 million Oh, I missed it. Thanks so much for subscribing. That may have been my last ball because I was trying to get stuff set up. Well, it says I got 38 million points, so let's uh, let's just put Dub in here, and let's see where we're at. Dub. Now, when we quit the game, give it a second, and of course it will, what should we call it? It then loads, or it should. Hasn't loaded yet. Hasn't loaded yet. I guess it's going to take a minute to load up. Audio's fine? Okay. So Michael B. was telling me that he really, really liked um, Exoplanets. This is one that I did get a chance to test out uh, before I went to work. I played it. I got up to 10 million. Uh, we're going to try again, see if I can do better here. Natural history. Thanks so much, Alfred. Exoplanets. Late night stream, but, you know, we can take a peek at these tables and see what they're all about. I'm gonna probably do a full review of the tables, so, you know, I gotta, I gotta play them to review them, so... We'll go over all the table goals and all that stuff. Ugh. Oh man, come on. So it's definitely a step in the right direction in my opinion, these tables. Some people might question the IP, you know, because it's not some famous movie that we grew up with or something of that nature, right? And I totally get that, oh I totally missed that. So I totally get that feedback. But also, we have to remember that, you know, this hardware has limitations. This isn't, you know, a PC. But these are definitely an improvement versus the Taito games. Oh, oh. Got to had to use my nudge there. Gotta hit, okay, we gotta aim for that flashing ramp right there. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. And we got it. Boom. I love pinball. This table's weird because there's like three levels. Had to use the nudge there. Oh, missed the nudge the second time. Who is the IP? So on this one, it's the Natural History Magazine. So they came up with uh, tables based on natural history. You got the exoplanets. You got the Amazonian, like Amazonian rainforest. You got the Ice Age and the dinosaur table. We just played the dinosaur table for a couple of minutes. I'm just giving these a, a quick, a quick run. Now, what's funny about the Natural History Museum, that is actually the museum, if you guys saw, what is the Ben Stiller movie? Uh, oh god, I can't believe I did that. Uh, where he's the watchman, the night guard. 
Night at the Museum, that takes place at the Natural History Museum. So that movie, so if anyone wants to tie these games to a movie IP, I mean, I guess there's your loophole, right? <laughs> Oh man, I just, I can't get going on this round on this table. This one's a ball drainer. So you gotta, you gotta nudge every time it's coming down the middle there, man, or you just get screwed. Like Jurassic Park was really possible. Are you talking about like Jurassic Park, like a like a stern Jurassic Park? Yeah, I mean, I think those are what you might call a uh, six-figure type. Oh Jesus! See, this this is what makes me mad about this table. Uh, six-figure type IPs, right? And do you think At Games is the footprint to be bringing that kind of stuff on board? Do you think they're going to spend you know one, two, five million dollars on that kind of IP? They're not going to make their money back. Alright, so I stunk at that one. My apologies. <laughs> let's, uh, let's... Okay, there we go. Now the high scores are going through. Did my high score go through on the dinosaur table? Okay, so Dinosaur Dynasty, my high score didn't go through, but it did on exoplanets. Let's check out the last Ice Age. Yeah, Digipunk, I agree with you completely. I would love to see at games history. make Last some digital Ice pinball Age. tables based upon Jersey Jack, American Chicago, American pinball, or Chicago gaming real pinball tables because they have the licenses, right? They have the licenses with those big IP, and basically they would be like sub licensing it, you know what I mean, to at games, right? Whereas you know, if at games wanted to go to Stern right now today and say, "Give us your tables," uh, I don't. I don't think they're going to want to pay the money for that, right? Yeah, Spooky Pinball 2. So this table, I thought was going to be the worst, and it's actually uh, one of the best ones. Uh, a lot of my buddies are telling me that they're really enjoying the Ice Age. Drop target in the corner, go around the ramp, hit that target in the corner. No, come on! Oh, yeah, we saved it! Nice save. Went down the chute. And we came out the top. I didn't even know that was going to happen. I'll know that for next time. Oh, that sucked. Steps Gaming says Ice Age is the best. Yeah, um, this is. I think this is my first time checking this one out. I think the only one I played was Exoplanets. I think. Oh, look at that! The Wooly Mammoth just picked up my ball with his tusk, and he dropped it. You guys can buy these uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. 9 a.m. Pacific time, so 12 noon Eastern when their when their e-store opens. You guys will be able to uh, buy the packs online. Ball two is locked. Get your codes, and after you get your codes, you can then go to your machines, enter your codes, and uh, start playing some natural history. Oh. Uh, the pack will be on sale for 15 bucks. We're talking 5, 10, 15 bucks. That's it. The pack is normally... It's normally going to be a $25 pack for four games, but they're going to have it on sale for 15 bucks. And for, you know, 15 bucks for four pinball, digital pinball games that are like this style, like, I think it's worth it. And also, don't forget, you have the Universal Pinball Pack. So if you have a multiple At Games products, 
Uh, you'll have this will be a universal pack that you can just buy once and play it on multiple devices. So for instance, I'm playing this on my Legends Core Max right now. And I can now go to my pinball machine, the At Games Legends Pinball, the big pinball machine, and I don't have to pay for it or anything. I'll be able to download it and play it off of uh, that system as well. Yeah, this definitely is a step in the right direction. Is it apps? Oh, come on, I got ripped off here. Is it actually... Is it the greatest pinball experience ever? No, but this is huge improvements versus what At Games gave us before. This is a good table. If you guys don't mind, I'd like to try this one again now that I kind of understand what we're doing. Also, guys, just a heads up, um, At Games reached out to me today and they asked me if on Monday, which is Labor Day, since I normally do um, Multicade Mondays, they asked me if I would be willing to, as part of the show, announce the winners of all the National Owner's Day weekend contests. Uh, there's going to be a lot of prizes up for grabs, physical stuff, as well as, you know, digital stuff. Uh, I told them I would go ahead and announce the winners on Multicade Mondays, so make sure you guys tune into my podcast show on Monday. If you participate... Oh, there's a flipper over there. I didn't even know that. If you guys participate in um, any of the At Games events this weekend. I can't remember what exactly they're giving away. Hey, William, what's up? You know, I gotta say, man, I'm digging the Ice Age table. I just gotta get deeper into it, right? Deeper into it. But this table's got promise. Look at it, look. So the woolly mammoth grabs your ball and he puts it in the ball lock, so that's pretty cool. Come on. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh we saved it! That's what nudge is all about, baby. Oh, oh, oh! Down the chute. Okay. I got it up the ramp. No. Uh, Digipunk, I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, if you think about it, At Games now has the ability to give you... You were at 149 tables that you could play locally off your device. And now with these four tables, that brings you up to 153. That's a lot of pinball. And that's not even including plugging a PC in to play more pinball games. It's just native pinball. Oh, and you guys want to hear something funny? Because I'm playing on my Legends Core Max, if you guys have been following the footage of that games, you guys know that these Legends Core Maxes, they have 16 gigabytes of internal storage. So what's really cool is I don't even have a flash drive plugged in. When I downloaded the pack, I downloaded it right to the core, and I'm just playing right off the core without having a flash drive plugged in, a USB hub, all that annoying BS. The only thing I have plugged in is my Legends Gamer Mini as my controller. <laughs> Can you add tables like Adam's Family with At Games? No, you cannot. Um, natively. But if you have a computer that you're running, you know, VPX or Future Pinball on. You can connect that to the At Games pinball machine and you can run it that way. So you can run those games, but you can't just like stick them on a flash drive, right? right? Yeah, Jay Cuts. So for instance, I just got the tables today as well as I just got. Um, Whatchamacallit? Oh, I unlocked multi-ball. I got the... Oh! Triple multi-ball! Yes! I just got the PDF that has the table guides that show you all the different goals and rules and stuff. And again, I, I honestly haven't even read it yet because I literally just got these. I just got home from work not too long ago out here on the West Coast. But when I do a full review of the games... Obviously, we'll cover that stuff. Right now, we're just giving them a test. We're just seeing what happens.
Unacceptable Fringe, so I'm guessing it's similar to Legends Link. Uh, no, no, Legends Link is when you stream your PC. I'm talking about you actually physically plug your PC into um, the Vibs board and into the uh, actual uh, pinball machine itself, into the USB and HDMI ports. And you can run your VPX stuff that way, and you will get plunger support, haptic support, back glass support, all that kinds of stuff. There's tons of videos out there about it. So that was pretty cool. All right, let's check out uh, the Amazon, because I want to give these games all a run. Well, let's see where we're on the leaderboards. It says I'm number two, but I'm number two on this device, which is the Legends Core Max. You notice that, like, Breezy, Remy, Mooch, uh, the symbol... It tells you what At Games device they played on, and they played on the pinball machine itself. That's what the flipper logo is. You'll see Drakey, he's got the little circle core. So he played on the Legends Core Max just like me. All right, let's check out the Amazon. All right, let's go here. Oh, good, Wagner's Tech Talk is here. Uh, John, John knows a ton about VPX, uh, setting history. up VPX Amazon Future Pinball. Make sure you guys, especially on the At Games platform, he's done some great tutorials on how to get Baller Installer, Pinup Popper, all that stuff working. So make sure you guys check out Wagner's Tech Talk. It's kind of hard to explain. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain it while I'm trying to play the pinball game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is the Amazonian table. As you can see, this one's bright, colorful. We got fish jumping everywhere. We got a snake. Let's see what else we can see on here. We got an upper level area with three flippers, multiple ramps. We got an alligator on the right side kind of moving around. I wonder if he's going to grab my pinball. All right, cool. Let's give this a shot. Oh, there's, there's flippers all over this thing. Here we got birds flying around. Again, in my opinion, this is just a oh, this is just a huge improvement versus the Taito games. Ah. Oh. I really like that Ice Age table. Let's see if we can figure out where all this goes. Alright, so I gotta aim that way for the ram. We wanna try and get to the upper, upper level. How do we get up there? This way? Hopefully this gives you guys a nice good view of the table so you can kind of see what we're doing. It, I mean, you only get two views with the Act Games ecosystem. You get this view, as well as you get that top-down traditional pinball classic view when you're playing on the pinball machine. Or if I wanted to, what's cool about this Legends Core Max is I can, I can put it into um, vertical mode. So I just flip the screen to vertical mode and then, um, you know, just rotate my monitor right here on my desk. And, you know, I have that vertical pinball mode. It looks just like what it would look like oh. on the pinball machine. Wow, where the hell did the ball go? <laughs> you go up that ramp in the back and the ball does this weird zigzag. Ah! See, you got to get the timing down. You got to get the timing down. You notice, like, the time of day is changing, like it was getting darker, lighter, and stuff? Alright, I'm gonna try that one more time, because, again, this is literally the first time I played this table, so... You know, you gotta play it a few hundred times to really master it. <laughs> oh, see that? <laughs> So because we're in the Amazon, I'm guessing there's like storm and weather effects, right? 
You got kind of that rain cloud traveling around the table. Oh, what happened here? Ah, oh, the snake! The dude, the snake just ate my pinball! What a dick! That was awesome. Hopefully you guys caught that. Oh, come on, come on! Oh. Uh, they have several hero deals. No hero deal on the core max itself, but that is what I'm playing on. I am playing on the core max. I'm really not liking this uh, target wall that they got right here in front of us. Alright, there we go. He just ate my ball again. Ball 2 is locked. I think if we do it one more time, we'll unlock multi-ball. And that's usually when it... Multi-ball is when it gets exciting, right? Let's do it! Nope, I gotta do it again. Nope, we got it. We got multi-ball. Oh. The gameplay is super smooth. I'm not seeing any, like, frame skipping or anything, which is really good. I don't know how well the capture card's gonna capture it, but at least on my end, staring at my monitor, it's looking really good. Oh, we lost them all! P Dubs, you gonna buy any of the game packs? Well, I mean, Akim sent me this game pack, so I have access to this on, you know, all their pinball machines. Oh, look, see, here comes the storm cloud. Now, it, and the table got darker. That's pretty cool. When it comes to I, uh, the Data East packs, I already have all the Data East games that Act Games offers. But I think that the Activision pack might have a couple of new games. And Act Games isn't going to send me the Activision pack, so I, I think I might buy the Activision pack. It's only like, what, 10 bucks or some shit? Just to check it out. But again, if you're tuning, if you're just tuning in, we're playing on our Legends Core Max. We're using our Legends Gamer Mini with the pinball buttons on the side of it as our um, controller. That way we kind of have a pinball experience. I'm playing with pinball and nudge buttons. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, Mike of All Trades is here. What's up, Mo? Sorry, man. All right. I like this table. I like this table. This table can get better once you figure out what you're doing and where to aim and all that stuff. Alright, let's go back. Uh, for those who joined late, let's check out the dinosaur table again. Maybe I'll have a better run on it this time. Let's check out the leaderboards. So I'm at 14.2 million. I'm ranked number two on the core max. You'll notice everyone else played on the pinball machine. They got the pinball machine logos next to their initials you know what's really cool is of course is you know the best way to play any pinball game is to play on the at games pinball machine itself right like it's a little more difficult to play this style but it works man it works like you know Natural we're just history. chilling Dinosaur clinton is dinosaurs. here what's up clinton To be honest, uh, Jay Cox, it does look like a well-developed couple of tables. Saw some that had an obscene amount of flippers. Yeah, man. Um, oh, we only want to do one player. Yeah, man. Sometimes uh, Magic Pixel. I mean, you've seen their Zakaria games. They love. They love midfield flippers. They love it. How come the ALP doesn't show the logos like the puck? Uh, probably because they just need to put out the update for the leaderboards. I thought I saw they put a note out there on social media saying they had to do an update on the leaderboards. Skill shot. They'll have it all up and running. All right, check this out. This is awesome, right? The pterodactyl's gonna grab my ball, fly it all the way up to the volcano area. Okay, and where do I... Do I gotta get in the volcano? Oh, I gotta get up that ramp. Okay, let's see. There it goes! There it goes! 
All right, we can get back up there. Ah, oh, we missed it. All right, now I know what that does. Combo. Double combo. Combo. Double combo. See, it's all about repetition, baby. We're having a much better round already on this table. Alright, here we go, Gun. He's gonna take me to the upper level. I, I think I gotta get it in. Do I gotta get it in there? We got a light predator. I wonder what happens if we light predator. Hopefully, something cool will happen. That's what we're gonna keep aiming for. Got the T-Rex, he's kind of moving around the middle of the table there. I wonder what he's getting ready to do. Super combo. There's one, two, three levels on this table, hence multiple flippers on every level. Alright, let's we want to try and get up to the top. No! Oh, the volcano just erupted! That was awesome! <laughs> when the volcano erupts, it shakes the entire table. That was awesome. I gotta try and light Predator, guys. Let's see if we can make that happen. I wonder if the T-Rex will do something. Multi-ball! Well, it was fun while it lasted. Kickback is activated. Oh! Pfft. You see what you did, John Wagner? You jinxed me. I glanced over to look at the live chat. And when I glanced over to look at the live chat, I lost my ball. Thanks so much for the compliment, though. Uh, J Cuts, how much per table? They sell it as a single bundle. It's 15 bucks. you get all four games, starting tomorrow. What I can say is, um... Magic Pixel and At Games promised that when they made these tables, these would not be reskins of other tables, right? That they weren't just gonna use a different table and change the artwork assets. That these were built from the ground up from scratch. They heard fan feedback. And I think that's pretty cool. So these are brand, brand new experience for everybody, which is awesome. And when you look at it from this view using this device, you, you see that, you know, they. this is a big step forward. Big step forward versus the Taito tables. Huge step forward. Oh, I missed it. Uh, it's okay. I didn't need the donation, but thanks so much, Tech Talk. One thing I can say, though, about this is... All right. 
I, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a hypercritical person. I think the music on most of these tables sucks. The sound effects and all that are great, but Magic Pixel just stinks when it comes to- Ah! Ah! They, it heard me! It heard me dissing the music, the volcano erupted! Magic Pixel, just, they just, man, they just... They, they put, like, this weird elevator music in, man. Like, I don't get it. Like, if you put some really badass music behind a pinball game, it totally changes the experience, right? Like, it can make a normal pinball game seem even more exciting by having a killer soundtrack, right? Oh, what happened? Did you see that? The T-Rex just ate my shit! <laughs> That was awesome! The T-Rex just ate my pinball. That was great. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, Dan, what's up? Dude, that was awesome! The T-Rex just ate my pinball! That was hilarious! Is that it? Is that game over? I got 45 million though, so it's better than nothing. You always pl you always play better when you're on the um, actual um, oh what is it called the pinball machine itself, right? But these devices are fun. Yeah, so this leaderboard's not working. So yeah, they, you know they did say I saw them put out some kind of social media blast er earlier. <coughs> Excuse me, where they said that they were having some issues with their leaderboards, but they would have them fixed probably just this weekend. I'm actually excited about Dr. Natural Seuss. Some people are, you know, they're making fun age. of ad games for getting Dr. Seuss. I'm telling you, look at the quality of these games, right? And this is just some basic IP, right? Like dinosaurs, Ice Age. Imagine them doing, take a look at these tables, right? Imagine Dr. Seuss in this style, right? You know, especially the How to Grinch Stole Christmas, a Christmas themed pinball game table. I think I, it's got a lot of promise to it. It's got a lot of promise to it. I personally am excited about the Dr. Seuss partnership. You know? I mean, hell, if Zen Studios can release My Little Pony, and and if, uh, who just, who did, who did the Toy Story? Was that Jersey Jack? And if Jersey Jack or whoever it was can do Toy Story, like, Hack Games and Magic Pixel can do, you know, Dr. Seuss. I mean... As long as it's a great pinball experience, people will play it. I think it's going to be great. And that's the table I'm most excited for out of all those games. 19K Fox is most excited for Fox on Socks. Why don't you know it? Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. I want Dub's Mario Brothers pinball. No way, Jay. No way. Like, for me to sell my real Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World pinball machine, do you know what would have to happen? Like, I would need to be in dire straits. Like, I lost my job, burned through my savings, need a surgery. Had to use my nudge there to save the day. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's just something I'll never sell. I'll never, ever sell it. That, that, and when I do get, like, my... Well, I mean, I already have my Cuber cocktail table that we're we're going to be um, fixing. But I'm still gonna end up getting a real Cubert arcade machine, and once I have that real Cubert arcade machine, I would probably never sell it ever. Once I have it, some things are just too important. Oh. Ooh, had to nudge it to win. Ah! 
Yeah, it's oh, like that Kevin God. Hart comedy what? special, Mitchell B. You see, I got a savings and a checking. I got a checking and a savings. <laughs> Ever see the Street Fighter Gottlieb table? I actually played the Street Fighter Gottlieb pinball table at the Pinball Hall of Fame in Las Vegas when I was there with the Rexer show. And everyone was right. It is probably the worst real pinball machine ever, ever invented. I don't think I've ever had a worse pinball experience than when I played the Street Fighter pinball game from back in the day. That thing was garbage. So the problem, Ragman, with getting Elvira scared stiff is the fact that um, it's going to cost me f five figures. You know what I'm saying? No. So that's that's the problem. Hit holes four times. Like the cheapest one I saw in Arizona, one guy was selling it. I think it was like eight thousand or so. But I missed out on that one. And then I've seen a, a I've seen a couple on auctions and stuff, and they always go, it's near five figures, man. It's just way too much money, bro. Way too much money. Ah, boo! But I, I can place I can play scared stiff on my you know on my uh, you know VPX stuff so I'm not too worried about it. All right, we're gonna do another game here, but real quick I'm gonna give you some quick thoughts here on this. So so far out of just spending a few minutes on each table, I gotta tell you, so far my favorite table so far is the Ice Age. Number two, Dinosaur Dynasty. I, I just had a lot of fun. You guys witnessed it playing those two tables. Number three, Amazonia. Number four, guys, I honestly, the first, I'm not really digging exoplanets. Maybe I just need to play and get further into it, unlock some shit. You know how it goes when you play pinball. Sometimes you got to get deeper into the game to really appreciate what happens, right? But so far, that's my current ranking. Ice Age, number one. Dinosaur, number two. Amazon, number three. Exoplanets, number four. Let me know what your favorites are in the live chat. I'm going to go back and play the Amazon game again. Because I thought that was pretty badass when the snake ate my pinball. Natural history. Amazonia. Yeah, I probably would have an easier time, Digipunk, finding a the newer one versus Scared Stiff. You know, the newer Elvira. But I really like Scared Stiff. I think that table was just so well put together. You know what I mean? So well put together. Yeah, man, you gotta get good. Gotta get good. Also, let me know in the live chat if you're gonna be picking up these games tomorrow if you didn't pick them up today, if you didn't have early access. Oh, I totally missed that! <laughs> I got a ball save though. And again, if you're late to the show, we are playing on the Legends Core Max Hockey Puck. HDMI console, 1080p, 60 frames per second. I love it. I love it when that when he eats that. Oh, you got a nudge there, bro. You got to use your nudge. That's that's on me. That's on me. Thanks, Wagner. Yes, yeah, giving us a like. Oh, oh, wait. Did you see that? The ball was coming down the ramp, and the alligator punched it and sent it somewhere else. Freaking alligator. See, every the more you play these pinball games, like any pinball game, not just these, the more you play, the more like stuff happens that you're like, oh my god, I didn't know that before. Oh my god, that was cool. There's still times I play like Zen, like all the Star Wars pinball games, and you know, I'll unlock something that I never knew was possible. You know what I mean? Like, pretty fun stuff. That's, that's what's cool about this, right? So. 
So early access was given to people, original, the very first At Games owners. It was At Games' way of saying thank you to their original owners who gave them a shot and supported them in the beginning and purchased the At Games Legends Ultimate 1.0 arcade cabinet. So it's, it was their way of saying thank you and to those original owners, as well as if you're in the Legends Platinum Owner Program, which, you know, that, you know, that costs money, you know, to, to get that. But what's nice about being a Legends Platinum Owner is you get a one-year warranty, so that's kind of cool. And honestly, I think that's kind of cool for a, a, a company to remember the people that gave them a shot, the very first group of us. Because remember, I bought my first At Games Legends Ultimate. I ran off the Sands Club, and I picked up that Ultimate, and then the rest is history. So it's, it's like their way of saying thank you to those people. And it's only 24 hours. It's not like they got it two weeks ahead of everybody, right? right? It's actually pretty cool, in my opinion. I think that's nice. Yeah, you know, uh, Ice Cream Soldier, I love that comment because I'm expecting a decent fourth quarter here from At Games. Um, we got National Owners Day this weekend. They got new games coming out now. There's going to be more pinball games coming out in November, December. Uh, the Dr. Seuss pack is coming out right around Christmas time, which is going to be awesome. Playing How to Grinch Stole Christmas Pinball on Christmas with your family. That's going to be great. You also have, um, they've already said they're going to add a crap ton more games to Arcade Net. What those games are going to be. And, and you know, I'm, guys, I'm hearing hundreds. Like right now, there's like 90, 90 games on Arcade Net. Supposedly, there's going to be about 300 before the year is over. 300 games on Arcade Net. Supposedly. Now, how good are those games going to be? What those games are? But I don't know. There might be something cool where I might actually play arcade net. I might actually play online with some other people if it's a cool game. So I'm expecting at games to have a decent fourth quarter considering the first three quarters they just working on all this stuff in secret, I guess you could say, right? Right? So plus you got the Bit LCD Marquee is shipping this month in September. The Bit LCD Marquee is shipping. Combo. And also in November, the Quad Play Control Panel is shipping. Combo. So man, uh, there's gonna be a lot of at game stuff going on. Uh, Biggie D, any big announcements? No, there's not gonna be any big announcements this weekend from at games, but on my Multicade Mondays show, um, I will be announcing the winners of all the contests. So if you participate in the contest, hoping to win the cash or the prizes, make sure you tune into my podcast show on Monday, Multicade Mondays, where we will announce all the winners of all the codes, coupons. Uh, I think they're giving away some hardware, uh, all that stuff. I actually don't want to play Exoplanets. I really don't like it, but I should. Uh, let's do the dinos one last time. Euro synth music. Euro. Are you talking about the music for the um, dinosaur dinosaur. That, that they built into the game? Yep. JR, had there been any update on the At Games commercial pinball tables? Well, keep in mind, guys, if these games are coming out for us, these games will end up being on those commercial pinball tables. So they're going to get the same games. So they'll get Dr. Seuss, they'll get Natural History, all that stuff. Deals start at 9... 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow? Look at that. You guys see that? <laughs> the volcano? Do I think Battle Royale pinball is a good idea for multiplayer? I honestly have no interest in that, so no. I just like playing by myself with pinballs. All right, this will be the last game I play, and then we'll, uh, we'll cut it for tonight. Again, this is just me learning the tables, practicing the tables. I will film full reviews for the games. Also, we'll, you know, I have all the PDF guides, Skills. table guides, table rules. 
table goals. That way we can put together a good review for you on, on the games. I mean, I literally just got these today, and I just totally forgot to hit the nudge button there. So I enjoy you guys joining me to check these out. You're gonna buy your son a Legends Micro. Are you talking about the Pinball Micro or like the Gamer, like the Gamer Pro, Gamer Core, or the Legends Ultimate Mini? They sure don't make it easy with these names, do they? Oh, oh, oh! I don't think the Core Max is really on a good deal, but that is what I'm playing on right now. I am playing on the Core Max, but I wouldn't stress too much about it because the Core Max goes on sale pretty often, right? So um, once they once they get in stock, you know, I mean, At Games is gonna have uh, they have retailers now. They went live with Coles. You're going to see At Games at Best Buy. You're going to see their Amazon store is live. You're going to see a lot more retailers uh, distributing this stuff, which is kind of cool. Pushing Ryu Cat. Simple question, $2 donation. Can I buy one table? Everything comes in bundles. They don't sell individual tables. Uh, so you do have to buy a bundle. Now, in this case, these four tables, it's only 15 bucks starting tomorrow. I mean, it's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. I mean, dudes, <laughs> Indiana Jones on Zen Pinball was one table that I spent, what, 20 bucks on? How much was Indiana Jones? I bought it three times. I bought it on Steam, I bought it on Switch, and I bought it on, Stay on Xbox. Steam, Switch, and Xbox. I paid for freaking nearly $60 for Indiana Jones Pinball. I mean, if you like pinball, you'll spend the money. That's a damn good table, by the way. Oh. All right, micro pinball is small for three twenty-five nine one. Yeah, the micro pinball machine. Keep in mind that is a tabletop pinball machine. That is not a large device by any means. I have a feeling that if I get my hands on it, and if you guys have been following the channel, I've made a video for the Sharpen. You guys have seen my old video for the Sharpen. Uh, the Sharpen Tabletop Pinball, that thing has a... Oh my god, it's either an 18 or... Stay on 18? 18 inch screen in it? And I have a feeling that this At Games Pinball Machine is going to look tiny compared to that Sharpen Pinball Machine. You guys might want to look up a Sharpen, uh, oh, come on, Sharpen Pinball. And when you look at a Sharpen Tabletop Pinball, imagine it being about, I don't know, three or four inches smaller. And that'll give you a good idea as to how big that micro pinball machine is. Super Combo! Super Combo! Oh, I'll buy all the tables. I just want to own them and not need a subscription. Well, uh, so keep in mind, when you buy the bundles, now the, the pinball packs are universal, buddy. So you only need to buy the packs, you know, one time now, except for the Zakaria Deluxe Pinball Pack 5. That's the only one that is not a universal pinball pack. But all the other packs are universal. Hit the center hole. So if you already own the tables on your other devices, you're good, bro. You can play them on all your devices now. In fact, when you go to the... Uh, there you go. Let's go... Uh, volcano! <laughs> so funny. What up, Koga? Why does that voice sound like Cookie Monster? That's actually pretty funny. 
All right, D U. Let's put duck. All right, guys. So uh, I appreciate you joining me to check out these pinball games late at night. Well, late at night on the East Coast. It's still early here on the West Coast. It's only eight forty-five. But uh, what you call it? I actually enjoyed checking these tables out and my first impression my first impression is these tables are better than the Taito tables that's my first impression right they're more deluxe in style a little bit more modern gameplay the kind of stuff that we're a lot of us are used to playing v-pin wise you know uh, from other uh, digital pinball uh, publishers so that's really cool I think the tables look great they're a step in the right direction I don't like exoplanets and I hate the music in all of these games. I think the music is terrible in all the games, but if you can get around the music, everything else is pretty good. Pretty good for Amazon, Dinosaur, and Ice Age. My rankings are Ice Age is number one, Dinosaur is number two, Amazon is number three, and exoplanets I might never play. We'll see. I, I, got, I, just, I just gotta go play it a few more times. Like I said earlier, you gotta get into it unlock some shit see what happens maybe i'll end up loving it later but right now right now i'm not digging exoplanet um so yeah i think i totally think hey for 15 bucks if you have at games products it's worth picking these up tomorrow in my opinion i don't think these suck um and all that kind of stuff yeah i wish we could get stern too man but you're talking you're talking big money licenses baby big funny uh wagner he says the further you yeah just like if you get further in exoplanet it might get better i hope so I hope so. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have... Uh, I'm on a deadline here because on next week, guys, I'm heading to Chicago to go hang out with a, you know all the other YouTube buddies. We're having that big YouTube get-together. So this weekend, I got to do my best to get Racing Cab Part 1 video out, my review of these pinball games out, my Steam Deck review out. What else am I missing that is like that I need to get out? Oh, I got two other product reviews I got to get done. I got basically five videos I got to get done in the next three days. And also I'm, I'm on Monday, we're going to do Multicade Mondays and announce the winners of all this weekend's contest events for at games. So yeah, I got a lot to do here before I fly to Chicago. So it's going to be busy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, leave your comments, feedback, reactions below. And if, uh, you know, let me know what you think about this stuff. And uh, I'll have a full review for these tables very, very soon on my channel yeah i'll see you guys at the game and brew in chicago so anyway my dudes uh give us a thumbs up on the way out and thank you for subscribing